touching my... All right, my feelings are officially hurt. I have nothing on this lift at all. There's no benefit to mine. Look at this. All right, everybody. So today on this video, um, I'm going to be really upset. They're really, really happy and excited, but I'm going to be upset. We got uh, Jonesy Boy headed over here with his bmf lifted rockster the one that we did the install video on except he got his wheels and tires in now so we're going to be parking it right next to the wood wood rat and hopefully get some flex tests going on flex mountain over there uh just to see the difference between you know what the stock springs can do you know how it looks with the lifted tires everything compared to the wood rat i got news for y'all this is going to get bigger whichever way is a mystery uh not really 100 percent sure yet uh, we have some different ideas but this is small now this looks tiny next to one with the bmf spring over lift so um I'm going to try to catch him when he rolls in to get a true reaction to this thing. I've seen pictures of it. You might have seen it if you're on the Mahindra Enthusiast page. Or uh, we have a little local group that we made. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to talk too much. We're going to skip to the part where he shows up. <sighs> Alright. Here it is. It's rolling in right now. Only a few minutes after I took that last clip, actually. I hate this so much. <laughs> that thing is huge. It is huge. He did a custom little exhaust job by a guy we use for everything. I'll help him get it unloaded and we'll do walk around and everything So else. as y'all may have heard, or I may have said, he's going to be the one that goes like try to full performance later on. He went ahead and got the three inch, so he's going to go ahead and crank it up right now. I think it's a little bit more throaty. It's hard to tell. Yeah, that's deeper for sure. So we just took it for a little spin and it rides great. Rides just like mine with the spring lift. I mean, this should, just like they said, Michael said in the video, it maintains factory ride he, he let go of the steering wheel and it, it tracks straight, no problems. It rides good. Sounds good. We'll get him to park over there by the wood rat and we'll uh, do that walk around. All right, we got the measuring tape out. He's at about 52 inches where his breather is. He still is probably going to snorkel it, but you know when it's sitting this high, it's not exactly that needed unless you're just absolutely wanting to sink it. His rocker is like right at 31. I don't know if you can see that. Some places it's not sitting completely level, but it, it sits better than mine. You can't hardly tell unless you put a measure to it, but it's about an inch difference between the back and the front. Uh, let's see, just to show you the difference with mine, mine is about 28, 27 and a half, 28, depending on where you, you measure it at. So he's sitting a full three, three inches. I thought it was gonna be higher than that. I mean, it still is, he's definitely noticeable. Here's from the front. I think the most of it is in the front that you can tell. Because my nose dive is pretty bad. 
those springs have settled big time. Yeah. <laughs> it looks menacing. It does. I like seeing all the components under the front end. If my big idiot dog would move. Look at. It's like I don't know you. I guess I'll come. Um. Yeah. So he's got 20 by nine, uh, negative 12 offset. These are a five and a half, five by 5.5 bolt pattern, just like mine, just like every one of these. Uh, he has three inch spacers. He had custom cut. You got them from Dirt Legal, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so what he did, I mean, it's pretty smart thinking. You have more of a wheel option if you just get the three inch spacers because you're not worried about your hub bore size. So what he did was made his spacers come all the way out so far that he don't have to worry about his wheels slipping over the hub. He's not running uh, locking hubs and for a good reason if you think about it. I mean mine are kind of unnecessary because we don't, we're not going to be trying to ride these on the roads and save our save our u-joints and stuff that much to where that's our main goal so it really is pointless if he's in four wheel drive he's in four wheel drive the drive shaft's just always going to be spinning not a big deal these things aren't going to see 10,000 20,000 miles and you joints are cheap uh so and to clear up some confusion locking hubs are not the same as locking differentials or lockers just a quick i'm not going to go into it in detail but i see a bunch of confusion that's where your lockers go into. I got ox up there, okay? That means that this wheel and that wheel are locked in. If I spin this one, this one spins the exact same speed. They're, they're always turning. Locking hubs, all you do is you turn them, and then that, you have to turn both sides, and it engages to where your drive shaft can now access the... I guess and it enables four wheel drive. Yeah, it enables four wheel drive is all it does. It doesn't help you situationally in a mud hole or anything. Lockers do. So uh the only benefit to locking hubs is you can use you can unlock them and use too low. You can have it in two wheel drive low range. Yeah. If y'all I don't know if y'all heard that, but you can disconnect them and use your two two well four low but just have two wheel drive basically because you're disconnecting your front end. So wh what do you think we should do next? We got measurements, we got a little walk around, we got your sound clip. I want to see it kind of flexed out over there. So we'll probably jump to that. All right, my feelings are officially hurt. I have nothing on this lift at all. There's no benefit to mine. Look at this. Visual with 38s. This is about as flexed out as you could possibly get down here yeah if you threw like a thousand pounds in the bed maybe you might get a little bit more but look at that that's sway bar sway bar off just so y'all know but this is the original springs just with the uh bmf lift and he's got what two inches in between his tire and pretty close yeah and mine rubs with 35 is the way it is well it used to I folded my fenders in Look at this thing all twisted up. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the drive shafts like this, but look how much space. Now, we haven't really wiggled on the wheels, uh, turned the steering wheel to see, but I don't think he's going to have a problem. I really don't, but we'll look at it closer and see if I can get from the front. Can you pull that little grass, that little weed out of the way? Right in front of your shackle. <laughs> a little plumber's crack in there. Uh, man. I'm impressed. I see no downsides to this at all. None. Brake line still got plenty of room? Yeah. Your brake line, let's see if I can get over here without getting bit or stuck by something. See his brake line over there? I'm not allergic to any of that, as far as I know. 
All right, we, uh, he's having issues with his computer. I'm not gonna say brand because I don't want to bash. They are trying to fix it and send him another one. But uh, we slipped the RXR off of the wood rat in there and he's gonna compare it directly to what he had. Basically the computer that he's, that he uh, was in there, uh, it would work for just a few seconds and then it'd like die. Something to do with the, the ECU wouldn't take the tune correctly or something. So, there's your little pull. I think he lost his hat, but uh, let me see if we can get a good pull. Yeah, I've already seen this pull done on mine, but you see a bigger rockster doing it now. And somebody that's okay with abusing their machine a little bit more than me. <laughs> You can tell. All right, what do you think about the RXR? Definitely better than the first KMX stream that I got. It's the same brand name. Yeah, we was gonna leave the brand name, but it's fine. They are they are doing him right by sending him another one and trying to make it right. But uh. Yeah. ECM. They're right. Yeah, something about the the ECMs. I think they're the only tuning company that has extra ones that they can send you. That way you can keep your stock. But uh, uh, yeah, he's using the RXR one, the Hot Tune, and I don't know. He, I, I rode with him a while ago with the KMS. The deal with it right now is you crank it, and then it holds a tune for what, like ten seconds of going hard, and then you have to kill it and reset it. Yeah, he's saying it. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but about 10 or 15 seconds, it'll run hard and then it feels stock. So I don't know what's causing it, but uh, I guess it still feels the same with this one, huh? Like this this computer's good. Oh, yeah. It's nothing to do with like somehow your anything else on your rig. Okay. No, I, okay. Well. I've done a lot of tuning stuff with automotive stuff. Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna give them a chance to make it right. We're not gonna try to bash on them, but they do. They're, they're doing me right. They're sending me an upload. It's already in the mail. Yeah, but uh, anyway, I can smell that new exhaust burn in there. Bojack, Goofy's about to get run over. Move. Quit looking at your ears in the shadow. Give it a good rev. That's a three-inch straight pipe right there. Well, I didn't video any of it, but we came to a hunting lease to test out. Officially, it's kind of first ride. We didn't dog on it, but uh, we went down some of these dirt roads and rocks and stuff like that. And uh, the one in the orange in the back is the one that's supposed to have. Oh, goodness. All right, then. What do you think about it up there? Anyway, we're gonna strap this thing down and head back to the house and I'll probably wrap up this video pretty soon I know it's getting long. All right, I'm gonna close out this video uh, It's like nine o'clock at night now a bunch of stuff happened in between last clip and now but uh, He's headed out with his rig and I'm gonna try to go work on this video. It's probably not gonna happen until tomorrow morning ish maybe so uh, Feel like I got some good clips. Way more to come though, so just stay tuned.